Hey, happy math time, boys and girls. Um, we are on page 335, and we are reviewing clocks. Uh, this is the fancy name for this kind of clock. It's not a digital clock. It's an analog clock. And I wonder how many of you actually have one of these in your house. Um, <laughs> if you do, you can actually play with it and change the time of the clock if your parents let you. Okay, so let's dive into page 335. It says, Sonia and her class are going on a field trip to the Robotics Expo. Sounds fun. The bus will leave at noon. Noon is what time? What time is it now? So, Sonia and her friends are going on a field trip to the Robotics Expo. The bus will leave at noon. What time is it now? Each number on the clock shows that five minutes have passed. So we're looking at her clock. Do you see? It looks like it's already 12. Some people get this wrong and they say, oh, well, the time's already gone because it's 1255. Okay. See on her clock right here. If we were to make these numbers match. Okay. It looks like this. Sorry, that's too long. Still too long. <laughs> that's our hour hand and our minute hand is here. Now I'm going to show you this. It has not hit 12 yet. If remember this um, minute hand, I keep wanting to change color so you can see it. This sorry, this hour hand, the short hour hand goes a fraction of the way around as it travels. So it started here at 11 and then it goes halfway, three quarters of the way, so it'd be 45. And then at 55, boys and girls, it's almost to the end, but it's still not 12 yet. It's right before the 12. So it's really tricky when you're looking at it to say, oh, actually I can tell it's 1255. No, it is not. It's 1155 because if it was 1255 the hour hand would be almost to the one okay that's what confuses people a lot is when you're almost to the next hour it kind of looks like it's pointing to the 12 but is not and the reason you can tell is because you can see that the minute hand is on the 55 so you know that this is right before it hits the 12 it's still 11 so you can tell from the minutes you can tell from the minutes that it's 55, right? If we were to count, we go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Or here's another thing. You can count backwards because this is 60 minus 5. It's 55. Or you can, there's lots of different strategies. You can do 15, 30, 45, and then you can count up another 45, 50, 55. Okay, you're still going to get the correct answer. The only thing I want you to be careful of is watching that hour hand, watching the hour hand right here. And if your minute hand is very close to the next hour, then you know, okay, this is very close to the next hour. It looks like it's on the next hour, but it's not. So what time is it now, boys and girls? Well, we know 55. Sometimes you can just write in that first. And what's the hour? It's not 12. It's right before 12. So what's the number right before 12? It's 11. 11.55. So what time is it now? Each number on the clock shows five minutes that have passed. So they're just reviewing that and we just went over that. Okay, so now write the time on the digital clock. These are the clocks that you're used to seeing. So we get to color in the clocks. This is actually a fun little section right here. Um, we get to color in the clocks to match the time on our um, analog clock. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna actually switch to black because that's, or usually it's like a glowing green or it's black um, depending on your uh, clock. But let's look at it. So we have the hour hand. It's between the four and the five, so it's not to the five yet. So the hour will be five, wait, sorry, it's not to the five yet. So the, it will be four. That's funny, colored in like this. See, it matches right here. color one two three four 
four. So there's the four. And how many minutes do we have? Well, it's pointing to the seven. So we can count by five. So we can go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Or we could go 15, 30, and then five more is 35, right? Or if we already knew that six was 35 or 30, we could just add five. So we know it's four, 30, five. I actually think the black is harder to see. I'm going to switch it for you. Uh, let's try red. Okay, so we have our clock. Let's look at the... I'm going to start backwards and look at the minutes. Okay, let's look at the minutes. Well, I could do a couple things. 15, 30, 45, and then what is this? Five more, so that's 50. Or I can count backwards. 60, 55, 50. Or if I really couldn't remember, I could go... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It's still going to end up with what? 50. So I have 50 minutes. And my zero goes all the way around. So there's 50. Okay. And what's our hour? Okay. It's past the one, but not to the two yet. So if it's not to the two yet, it's still one. So it is 150. All right, here we go, boys and girls. I keep trying one that I think might work better, but it's hard to tell. Okay, uh, let's look at the next one, number three. Let's look at our minute hand. Well, if we count, 5, 10, 15, 20, there's 20. Or I could go 15, and then 5 more is 20. But either way, that's 20. There's our 2. Kind of looks like a backwards S. And our zero, there's 20. And then how many minutes, or I'm sorry, how many hours? What's the hour? Well, it's past the eight and before the nine. So it's still what? It's still eight. So our time is eight, 20. Okie dokie, number four. This is one of those, nope, no, we're good on this one. So let's look. That's an easy one because it's your zero o'clock. And then this is five. Now we have to put the zero in our analog clock because there's, there's a zero, it's a placeholder. So it doesn't look like 50 minutes. Here's a zero and the five, the five looks like an S. And what about our hour? Well, it's almost right on the five. It's just a little bit past the five. So that means it's five. So our time is 5.05. Okay. Awesome. Now, just as a reminder, if this is something you know really well, if you want to pause the video, try and do the page, um, and then come back and check it, please do. But I don't want you to just guess because you'll end up getting something stuck in your brain wrong. And I see kids do this all the time, especially with um, the hour hand when it's really close to the next hour is where they make big mistakes. And then with the words and the terminology, because the terminology is pretty new. So the definition section right here, let's do this together. Write the letter of the correct time in each word. O'clock, that's right when it's on the hour. So that is D. 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And you know that. So if you were to write 1 o'clock, two o'clock. Okay. The zero zero is means o'clock. Okay. Quarter after let's look at our clock again. So we have the clock. Okay. A quarter after Remember we looked at our fractions and that would be 15. Do you remember? Okay. Let me show you on this clock down here. So one quarter would be what? You see it? 15. Okie dokie, 15 is C. Five minutes after, I'm just gonna look at, borrow one of these clocks and show you. So f I'm just gonna do the minute hand. Five minutes after would be what? I don't even have to show you because it's zero five. Five minutes after, zero five would be B. 
Okay, a quarter two. This one I will draw. A quarter two. Do you remember that? That means before. That means it's almost to the next hour. It's one of those count back ones. So here we go. A quarter two. This is this quarter. So it's not... It's a quarter two. It's this section right here. So if this is the minute that we're doing a quarter two is what? 15, 30, 45. Do you remember? Okay, quarter two is 45, so that would be E. Half past. It's a fun one. I'll use this clock. I'll borrow it. Half past is what? 30. And 30 would be A. Okay, now I'm going to go back and erase this. So we can use it for our next section. Okay, so what does it say in the instructions? It says, read each time, draw the hands to show each time. So even me, Mrs. Korenthal, who has been telling time for 30 years or more, um, can still sometimes put her minute hands or hour hands in the wrong spot. So be really careful. Don't go so fast and think you've got this because I know this better than you and I still make mistakes. Okay, so be careful. Okay, 825. And you know what I like to do? I actually like to write it regular before I do 825. So I make sure I actually understand what words I'm reading before I actually draw on the time. So 825. I'm going to draw the minute hands first because that tells me about how far past my hour hand has to go. So the minute hands. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So my minute hand's going to go all the way here. And you can actually have it cover the number. So you know that that's your long minute hand. 25. And how much past, almost halfway past the eight, but not to the nine. So about halfway past the eight, but not to the nine. Do you see that? Hopefully yours matches. If it does, you're correct. Okay. 11, 15. I'm going to write it here. 11, 15. I'm going to start with my minute hands. 5, 10, 15. There we go. Get my 15. And it's going to be past the 11, but only a fourth of the way past the 11. A quarter past. And make sure your hour hand is smaller. And forgive me if I misspeak. Um, <laughs> I keep feeling like I'm flipping my words with minute hand and hour hand. Or sh short hand or long hand. Um, so if I misspeak, please forgive me. Okay, 440. 440. Okay. 4, 40. So what's our minutes? 40. Now I go 15, 30, 45. Oh, that's five minutes before 45 is 40. Or I could go, I could do this, right? I can just say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, it's going to work out the same. Make that minute hand long so I know that you know it's a minute hand. And then four, it's going to be past four, just more than halfway. Do you see it's gone more than halfway around the clock? But it's not going to be to the five yet. I don't know why I did that. Not to the five yet. I could actually probably erase that and be a little bit neater. Okay, there we go. So it's not to the five, um, but it's past the four. It's more than halfway past the four. So 440. Awesome. Let's keep working on that. Okay, 2.50. Again, write the time, 2.50. So you make sure you know what word you're talking about. 2, see that? 50. Okay, do your minutes first. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. All the way to the 10. Touch it. Make sure it's long. There's your minutes. Now, this is the one. It's going to be almost to the 3. So if you draw it to the 2, guess what? That's not it. It's going to be past the two and really close to the three. Okay, so it might actually, when you draw it, it might, depending on how big your arrow is, might actually kind of look like it's almost pointing to the three. Um, but it's between the two and the three, but closer to the three because it's only 10 minutes until three. Do you see that? Okay, this one says five, ten, five, ten. Let's do our minutes first. Five, ten. Draw our minute hand real long. 
and it's going to be just past the five, almost pointing to the five because it's only been 10 minutes past five. Do you see that? Awesome. Okay. 735. 735. Okay, let's do our minute hand first. Well, if I know 15, 30, 45. Okay, well, I know this is 30, so it's five minutes past this because all of these are in groups of five, remember? So I know it's going to point to the seven for my minute hand. That's 35. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And then it's going to be just past halfway past the seven, but before the eight. So your hour hand will look like this. And make sure your hour hand's short. It's going to be past the seven, almost to the eight. Awesome. Yay. Here's your long division. I'm going to do one with you, and then I'm going to let you work on the other ones. Don't cheat the system. If you have to do it on a separate piece of paper, do. This is great practice for you, boys and girls. I'm going to do number one with you, and then I'm just going to post the answers. If you don't have the answers that match, please fix it. And it's no good copying the answers. That doesn't help your brain. Um, so when I give you the answers, don't just write the answers for nothing. Just see if they match. Do the work first. See if they match. And if they don't match, go back and fix your work. Okay? So here we go. I'll do the first one. Divide, multiply, and subtract. Bring it on down and then bring it on back. And then there's a quick compare right in here. Remember that? Okay, so let's look at it again. Uh, what's the first thing we do? Can two to be divided by five? No. So we're going to scoot over. I mean, I could put a zero here if I wanted to. And then I, that's my place value. I'm just my placeholder. I'm going to hold it for right now. Um, and then I can scoot over. And my next dividend is 20. 20 divided by five is four. Four times five is 20. When I multiply, I subtract, then I bring down the six. S my new dividend is six. Six divided by five is one. One times five is five. Subtract one. What do I do with this one? Don't forget it. Where does it go? Remainder one. If you do not put this up here, boys and girls, the answer is wrong. Uh, 41 remainder one. Okay. So try all the other ones. You can stop the video, try the other ones, and then check your work with me. Okie dokie. If you are listening to my voice, you have done all the work. You've done some great review of your long division. You're getting ready for fourth grade because guess what? You're going to have to know how to do this and you want good practice. So if you got them right, the answer is 46, remainder 3. The next one is 540. The next one after that is 551, remainder 1. Okay, the last one on the page, 313, remainder 8. Now, if you have your placeholder... Um, right here. That makes sense um, because I want you to get in the habit so you can scoot over. But then in fourth grade, you won't use those. You'll just remember to scoot. Um, but every, so everything is lined up right where it needs to be. Do you see that? So just make sure it's lined up. Um, if you got it wrong, I want you to go back and fix your work. If you're really unsure um, about one of the specific problems, you can ask a parent for help or feel free to um, you can make, you can call Mrs. Cornthal and we can like have a little time together. It's hard to do things over the computer screen, um, but I can try my best um, to work it with you. So if you just miss one, you probably just, maybe you multiplied wrong or you just divided wrong or you just wrote the wrong number. Sometimes I just write something down wrong. Um, but these are all correct. If you got them all correct, I want you to go show a parent right now and celebrate. Uh, celebrate that you have learned so much this year and you are so strong on your long division. All right. Boys and girls, I love you. Love God and love your neighbor.